Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining me on the Valder Beebe Show. I'm your host. Today, my guest is Dr. Jasmine Williams. She's, she's here to help you teach your kids to stand up to bullying with Captain Compassion. Dr. Williams, welcome to the Valder Beebe Show for the first time. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here. Well, tell me about first, tell me about Captain Compassion. Is that just a saying or what? What is Captain Compassion? Captain Compassion is a public awareness campaign that we designed at Committee for Children in response to a lot of families and educators who were looking for an engaging way and research-based way to talk to kids about bullying. The hallmark of the Cats and Compassion campaign is an original comic strip series that features superhero Captain Compassion and her trusty sidekick, Kid Kinder, as she helps him learn how to activate his bystander power, which is the ability to recognize, refuse, and report bullying. I love that uh, explanation. I want my audience to also know that October is National Bullying Prevention Month and Global Diversity Awareness Month. Dr. Williams, how, how, how can families and educators, how can they teach them about uh, uh, bullying, especially when they're a bystander? Yeah, so it can be a really difficult conversation to have and families are dealing with a lot right now being the primary educators in in the home with a lot of learning being online. So we've designed the comic strip series this year around a very powerful theme, racially motivated bullying. And so this year you see Kid Kinder venturing into an online gaming world where he's bullied because of his race. And Captain Compassion really helps him learn to unpack the experiences that he's having and recognize it as bullying and then be able to stand up to and refuse the bullying. Dr. Williams, there's so much incendiary language in the media uh, from uh, uh, commercials such as um, political ads and the news and things like this. I know kids hear this. Then there's the race factor on top of it. How do parents talk to their children about uh, uh, being a good person, a fair person, letting, not letting these things make you sway one way or the other, just how do they do this? Yeah, it's really, it's really hard to do. And it's a difficult conversation for a lot of people to have, but it's really important as caregivers and as parents that we are open and honest with our kids as we help them navigate this world. So being able to be authentic and non-judgmental in your conversations with kids as they're asking you questions, being honest if your child asks you a question and you might not know the answer, and then being sure to follow up and follow through and find out the answer if they do ask you something that you don't know. So it's just really important to have these conversations with kids Going to capsicumpassion.org and download our comic strip series is a developmentally appropriate and engaging and research-based way for parents to begin to start to have these conversations. Parents do have a lot on them, what you're saying. There is a, a long-term effect on, on bullying. It, there has to be. I remember from the, like, third grade. Now, this little boy liked me and punched me <laughs> in the stomach. Could you imagine if he didn't like me? So kids, this stays with them for a lifetime. How do parents uh, um, help them once again with Captain Compassion navigate this? The first step is really helping kids understand what bullying is and so that they can recognize bullying when they see it. And so bullying is repeated intentional harm, physical, verbal, and social aggression that is often repeated over time. And so for being able to help kids understand interactions and really learn to trust their gut when something doesn't feel good or you feel like someone is treating you poorly or you see someone else being treated bad, to feel confident and empowered to stand up and say that, hey, that's not okay and offer support to people if you see them being targeted and being bullied. I ask this final question to you because I think this is so important. I'm taking it off of uh, social media. I'm going to rephrase it. 
When parents are biased, when parents are prejudiced, when parents are mean, how can they give their children a different lesson using Captain Compassion? That's a really great question. So what we've designed Captain Compassion to do is really be a conversation starter. And what you'll find at captaincompassion.org is a wealth of resources about the power of empathy, how to be a good bystander. And so it's really a learning experience for both adults and children. So I would encourage everyone to visit captaincompassion.org download our original comic strip series and look at all of the resources that we've designed based on the latest research about how to be a good bystander and how to prevent bullying. I mean, my audience to know that Dr. Jasmine Williams is a research scientist and a bullying prevention expert. Dr. Jasmine, uh, just seems like we need a captain compassion for the kids and we need one for the adults for this upcoming <laughs> election. But I thank you so much for being my guest. Where can my audience go online and get more information? You can visit captaincompassion.org to see our comic strip series. We release a new comic strip every week in October. And again, there's also a wealth of resources for both adults and children. All right. I want all my parents to head over there because they may learn something in the meantime. Thank you so much, Dr. Jasmine Williams. I, this is a great idea. Thank you for being my guest on the Valder BB show. It was my pleasure. My phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.